Hi, this is Praveen Kumar from Informatica Support. This is a video in which you will learn how to enable LB Trace, and this applies to Power Center 9x and 8x architectures. So, what we are going to see here is we'll understand what is load balancer, we'll understand what are the dispatch modes, and why do we need LB tracing? We are also going to deal with how do we enable LB tracing and what are the trade-offs of enabling this tracing. And also we will uh, discuss some alternatives which we have for LB trace. So fundamentally load balancer is the IS component responsible for dispatching of the jobs to the nodes which fulfill the resource requirement for the job. It is also responsible to ensure that the load is properly balanced across the nodes in a single or multi-node grid setup. Balancing is done with respect to the dispatch mode. So the power center integration service, when it runs on a grid, the load balancer performs the following four steps you can say, uh, which determine on which node to run a task okay the firstly the load balancer verifies which nodes are currently running and enabled in the integration service then secondly it decides if you have set integration service to check resource requirements then it would identify the nodes that have the power center resources required for the respective task in the workflow then thirdly it would Verify that the resource provision threshold on each candidate node are not exceeded. If the dispatching the task causes a threshold to be exceeded, the load balancer places the task in the dispatch queue and it dispatches the task later. Then the fashion of the dispatch is decided by the dispatch mode. Okay. So here it is. So what are these dispatch modes? Informatica has three dispatch modes and the dispatch modes decide the fashion of in which the tasks will be uh, sent to each of the nodes. Okay, So the firstly we will discuss about round robin. So round robin uh, dispatch mode in this dispatch mode what we have is the, the jobs are dispatched in a first come first serve basis. Okay, so a Okay, and what we have another thing about round robin is it only considers the max process threshold while dispatching of a job. Okay, if you dispatch a job to a node and if the node's max process task would be reaching its threshold, then it won't dispatch that particular task to that node. That is the only criteria for round robin. Whereas metric based dispatch mode is similar to round robin as it dispatches in that fashion, but it also looks for the other two thresholds, the CPU, run queue length, and the max memory percentage. Okay. And whereas adaptive dispatch mode is, as the name suggests, it's adaptive in nature and finds the best suitable node to dispatch before dispatching. It performs all the computations needed for all the three thresholds and finds which is the best candidate and then dispatches the job accordingly. So we said these dispatch modes at the domain level only. And that makes the reason why all the ISs in a domain can have the same dispatch mode always. Now, what is LB tracing and why do we need it? So LB tracing is tracing of the load balancer. So load balancer when it is deciding which, what is the threshold there, what are the processes running. So the four steps we just discussed those four steps everything is logged in a separate entry normally these things are not logged for performance reasons so it provides the information about when a job run request is received and what are the list of resources available at each node it provides the accurate information regarding what causes a session task go into waiting mode during the dispatch So how do we enable this LB tracing? So to enable LB tracing, you need to set the two properties shown on the screen. One is the enable LB trace 
and the other one is the enable load balancer agent trace okay so the load balancer trace is the one uh, which involves uh, logging of all the entries related to what is the source requirement for a task and where it was been dispatched and what was the available resources at each node okay whereas enable lba trace is meant for a single node entry it it is uh, it's, it is generally not uh, related to the master is it is related to the worker iss okay where the jobs are getting executed so they um, so whenever they only have the entries related to their particular uh, resources which is available on that node and also the jobs which have been dispatched to that node and whether the task has completed or not okay in the lb trace you do not find any entry related to the dispatching of the task anything related to the end of the execution of the task whereas in case of your lba trace you will find both the start of the task and the end of the task as well and then we have important point to be noted is these files are always created in the server bin directory of your infra home and this is the place where you have to locate them for so now what are the trade offs of this lb tracing so if you enable lb tracing you require to do a restart of the is and the other thing is since there is an extensive logging it would require a huge length of disk space but the disk space requirement directly depends on your number of tasks you are running and the amount of time you have kept the lb tracing enabled so uh, so it is always um, we do not have any recommendations from our side what would be the minimum or maximum size for it but it always exactly depends on your number of sessions you are running how many times of how many times the dispatch is being done and how many times the requests are checked so this every entry it will grow okay and it is directly equal to the number of it is or directly involved based on your number of jobs you are running and the period of time you are having the session run so you may end up with this space if you keep it for a long run okay so now let's have a look how do we enable lb trace with it okay so here is the admin console and let us log into this node so now this is a domain so i would like to show you first thing is the dispatch mode so where do you have the dispatch mode so here as you see this is our dispatch mode it's a round robin dispatch mode and the thresholds which the load balancer will check is these three okay the maximum process the maximum cpu run queue length and the maximum memory percentage okay so where we have to set the properties okay so this is where we will be setting the properties this is my is and in this is i'm going to set it here So another thing is that you need to set these two properties in this fashion and make sure that they are all the case is meant taken care of it. So the E L B and T are capital and here E L B A T are capitals. Okay. So, but this is not enough. I have to restart my integration service in order to make the changes take effect so i am going to disable my integration service now okay so here it is it has been disabled now and I'm just enabling it now okay here it is so it has started logging with the lb trace let's have a look at the files in the file system so 
where am I? I'm on the survey bin directory of my info home. So let's let's see if there is any file created in my server bin. The latest one. Oh. Okay, so as you can see, there's an LB trace created here. So you need to send these two files to Global Customer Support Informatica for further analysis of the load balancer logs. Okay, and here is your eyes. So what next? So once you have them, you can send them to Global Customer Support for further analysis. You can also upload these files as these files will be huge. You will not be able to send an email to Informatica Support. So you need to have it uploaded into the FTP site of Informatica that is nothing but tsftp.informatica.com. You can also resolve the LB issues in some cases by changing the schedules of the job if feasible. So Informatica is going to help you support people, will help you with respect to what all uh, uh, issues you are facing. If there is a kind of resource utilization issue, we will we will suggest you which resources is being overutilized. Whereas there are scenarios where you may be having sufficient resources, but the the schedule of the loads is a problem. So maybe you have resources to run ten jobs at a time, but you normally run two jobs. At a time and suddenly you start running 12 jobs for an hour and there you'll see sessions going into waiting state so just rescheduling the jobs can also help you resolve load balancer issues so you can refer these two kb articles which are available on my support.informatica website and of course you'll we'll be very glad to hear your feedbacks and your suggestions to make us help you better okay Thanks for your time. Have a good time.